I'm absolutely delighted to be here and involved in this fifth year of the High Sheriff's Award for Enterprise, ever since David set the ball rolling in 2006. And the event, the celebration and the achievements across the businesses and companies in Chester have improved and developed and strengthened year on year. So great pleasure to be here uh, and, and still involved, very much so. Um, I'd just like to reinforce everything that Phil has said about qualifications and opportunities which bring together the university and business in Chester and the environs of Chester. There are a huge number of linkages and connections developing now across all that the university is doing to strengthen its business-facing work and support the economic su success of companies located in and around the city. Um, I know Charlie's here tonight. We have a, uh, an embryonic uh, innovation centre which is about to be opened uh, in the summer building on the uh, asset of the new site of Old County Hall. And that will bring business support uh, together with incubator units and opportunities for students. And one of those incubator places was won a couple of weeks ago by uh, graduate and postgraduate entrepreneurs from within the university. So locking the bits of the jigsaw together uh, and strengthening the relationship between the university and business and economic development is really all, uh, all that we're about. Um, we use the words innovation, entrepreneurship and enterprise um, easily and we never quite unpick what they uh, each specifically mean and they are indeed inextricably linked. Innovation is at the heart of economic growth. I didn't prompt the Chancellor uh, this morning, I promise. Innovation is at the heart of economic growth and it starts either with an idea that requires technical support and practical development or technical possibilities uh, create the opportunity, the idea and the reality and then demand uh, a way of bringing this to application and exploitation. Wherever it starts, it starts with creativity. And although science and technology are at the heart of what we do, we shouldn't ignore the creative element of that in terms of the cultural experiences and the services that affect many people across the city. And what we're about is quality all the time, quality. Entrepreneurs perhaps work in the former category, but enterprise underpins the success of the whole process, whether it's those who are self-employed in whatever size of SME, and the S's and the M's never get separated out enough, um, or as enterprising employees with good ideas which are given space and respect and support. Enterprise needs finance, it needs skills, it needs management, and it needs to be, to be located in the right place. And that place is very often close to the source of research and knowledge, i.e. a university. Success lies always in the workforce and always involving the people that create the business and use their ideas and contribute. And the aspect that has shone out from all this year's entries is the quality of management and leadership and the ability to use staff skills to best effect. An employer said to me quite recently, vocational skills maintain the bottom line, intellectual skills grow my business. And everybody at whatever part of the workforce has something to contribute to that overall gain. Managing people in a fundament is a fundamental asset, together with an appetite for realistically tackling risk. One of the criteria was how bold a venture is this going to be. And it goes together with the resolve and flexibility to diversify and adapt in the face of changing circumstances. And that is very apparent at this point in time. There's a lovely saying which I keep going back to, is don't feel the rug is being pulled from under your feet, just learn to dance on a shifting carpet. Speaking of dancing, 
Um, I'm clearly no Tess Daly, but I was, like her, uh, born and brought up in Stockport. So now it's time on behalf of the judges to start looking at the results of this year's 2010 High Sheriff's Award for Enterprise, and it's the bit you've all been waiting to, to hear about. The first uh, key award for the evening is the, uh, sponsored by Barclays, is the High Sheriff's Award for Enterprise, as your programme says. And this is uh, for an MBA place at the university. Now, the criteria for this award were four main criteria. Outstanding commercial success and sustainable growth. We talk about sustainability as if it's to do with the green environment, but the most sustainable force imaginable is what's in people's hearts and what's in their minds. So sustainable growth. Commitment to company management skills with an identified manager named to take this forward and ability to initiate and willing to undertake bold new ventures. And the question was asked of all the companies, if you were to win this MBA place, what are you going to do with it? And that revealed immediately the companies that have thought about this and have thought about the opportunities and actually in some cases know which staff they're going to ask to compete for it. So we had, this is the largest, largest category, we had four shortlisted companies, we had Amita UK Limited, a company providing IT consultancy and support. We had Click Consult, an online marketing company. We had Delsol, a firm dealing in courier services, and Medipure, which was specialising in many different forms of infection control. So we're going to, in each of these three categories, we're going to announce the highly commended award first. We're going to then let you know who the winner is, and we're going to have a short film of the winning company, during which time the sponsor will come up here uh, and prepare to make the presentation. So it's my pleasure in this uh, category of the Award for Enterprise to announce the highly commended award and the judges said this company was a well-motivated and sustainable business. The company is Amita UK Limited. <laughs> if, if Amita would like to come up uh, to the stage and be ready to get your awards, we'll be delighted to do that in just a moment. Now the winner. The judges report that the enthusiasm of the MD permeates the whole company. The winner is Click Consult. My name is Jeff Parker and I'm Client Services Director here at Click Consult. And my name is Gail Jones, Head of HR Services, and we're here to tell you about our amazing success story. In 2005, our MD, Matt Bullis, identified a gap in the market for businesses that want to promote themselves online, and he formed Click Consult. At Click Consult, we advertise our clients' websites on Google, Yahoo, MSN and Bing. All of you watching will have done a search at some time, be it for a hairdryer or jewellery. Our job is to make sure that our clients' websites appear when you do your search and make their site the one you want to click on and buy from. Our industry continually changes. The number of people searching online increases every month. Therefore, the need for businesses to capture these people online and trade online continues to grow. <coughs> okay, Scott, so what we're looking to do for yourself in particular is uh, what you will be assessed on, obviously, is taking your performance from where this blue line is here all the way up to where the red line is here. We value our staff highly. 
All of our services are actually delivered through their knowledge and our staff continually update their knowledge to make them the best they can be in our industry. Yeah. And, uh, and I think that you'll be able to achieve that, that yellow line in no time at all. Yeah, no, I think that's realistic. And yeah. that's, that's a fair point. Isn't okay, it? really excellent. Yeah. As we gain more clients and build our portfolio, our staffing needs increase and the challenge is keeping pace with that growth. In the last six years, we've grown from a company employing one member of staff, turning over £200,000, to a company employing over 55 staff, turning over £4.5 million. Our company can work with any customer in any sector. To retain our businesses and our clients, we must deliver on the objectives obviously set by our clients. Last year we grew our portfolio of services from 8 to 15 to meet our clients and the industry's changing requirements. Transparency for our clients is absolutely paramount. We have our own bespoke reporting system called Clicktelligence, which enables clients to see accurate, up-to-date reporting. In the last 12 months, we have added many additional features to Clicktelligence to enhance the customer experience. Our ability to provide transparent reporting, meet our clients' needs and a passion for what we do has seen us grow to almost 300 clients. As a result of our continued success, we moved to new premises in May 2010 here at Oakland's Office Park in Hooton. Hi, is that Jeff? Oh, hi Jeff, it's for him calling back and click. How are you doing? You're right. Yeah, click consult. The move has enabled us to grow and staff are now attracted by our company ethos. We strive to make Click Consult a place where staff want to work hard and actually enjoy the benefits of their hard work. In addition to the office move, the last 12 months has been one of evolution for us. Gail's role was created to help us through this transition. Major changes also happened within the structure and level of knowledge within the business. This actually highlighted a need for a more robust management structure. Our management structure has expanded from the directors to include six department heads, five of which were promoted internally, because we feel that the best talent is available in-house. ...in some of the whole department, uh, and I think that you, you would be the right fit for the, for the position, if that's something you'd like to accept. Very much so, thank yeah? you. Great, okay. Our benefits package was revised, and we now offer a highly competitive employment package. We also introduced a recommend a friend scheme to incentivise staff and the take-up has been very encouraging. We've looked at the role that each person plays in each department and we've created appropriate job descriptions. A training needs analysis was carried out on all staff. Now the pros are that you can training was then written and delivered to meet those needs and training records were created. Every new starter has an induction tailor-made to their job role and receives ongoing training. Through the use of psychometric tools, we now have 12 core competencies to each job role. From this, we have created personal development plans, which department heads review every six months with their staff. Plans are being put in place to run MVQs within the business to further our staff's development. In addition, we're also looking to start to implement succession planning. Our staff have also gained a range of industry-recognised qualifications. And then the monthly contracts, we're looking at um, sort of SEO, your general you know, pay-per-click. Moving forward for 2011, a major requirement is that we now start to train our department managers to enable them to deliver a consistent management approach across the business. For this financial year, we're projected to do over £5 million of turnover, of which £3 million is gross profit. This is a 16% increase on 2010. We continue to diversify our online services. 2010 was a successful year regarding web design. We worked with some major online retailers. For 2011, we project a 100% increase in revenue from this area. At the end of 2011, we aim to employ more than 70 staff, and we are happy that we are aiming to be one of the leading employers in the North West. The High Sheriff's Award would be a great acknowledgement to all our staff past and present for all their dedication and hard work over the last five years.
So to present both the highly commended award and the winner, um, it's a great pleasure to invite us to join on the stage John Pitchford, who is Corporate Director of Barclays, to present the awards. Uh, and we'll take the, uh, the highly commended award first for Amita UK. Do come up and receive the awards. Well done. If we can call on the, uh, the MD and team of Click Consult to come up, uh, John will be delighted to present the High Sheriff's Award with its MBA. Well done indeed. Just can say a, you know a couple of words really. Just to say that um, I'm really honoured on behalf of Barkers to be here to present these awards this evening, uh, and delighted that we're supporting and, and sponsoring awards again this evening. And, and just offer my congratulations again to Click Tools, but to all the uh, the companies that uh, entered into the awards this year. A really well done to everybody. Thank you very much. And now we come to the second award of the evening, which is the Bank of America's Award for Corporate Social Responsibility. CSR has another meaning, but in this particular instance it's Corporate Social Responsibility. The prize is worth £3,000 and the opportunity to, again, network and, and make contact with other businesses. The um, criteria for this category used to identify successful companies, and the criteria were two main ones. A high standard of commitment to organising and integrating responsible business practices, together with a CSR strategy which incorporates responsible business practices that influence mainstream operations, resulting in positive impact on the whole workplace, the marketplace, the environment and the community. We have two finalists. We have, first of all, Applewood Wealth Management, uh, a specialist in wealth management uh, development, and the Petit Pool Trust, which is a college and outdoor centre. Highly commended goes to the company that set up the Charlotte Hartley Foundation to benefit local charities. The highly commended is therefore awarded to Applewood Wealth Management. Well done. If they'd like to make their way um, up here, we can uh, be ready to present the awards in just one second. Now for the winner. The judges report that this is an excellent business that merits true recognition. And we will see a film showing the work of the Petty Pool Trust. The Pettipool Trust is an independent charity set up in 1981 from very humble beginnings in a factory forecourt on the Winsford Industrial Estate. Over the years we've evolved from a sheltered workshop to a state-of-the-art college and outdoor centre set in some 32 acres of beautiful Cheshire countryside. Our vision at the Trust is about achieving excellence. This year we gained the gold standard of investors in people, one of only 28 companies in the northwest of England to get such an award. The Pettipool Trust is made up of two distinct elements. Pettipool College is a training arm of the charity that provides education and vocational training to young people with learning disability. Yes, six, and for the lid to go on top, yeah. Pettipool Outdoor Centre is the income generated arm of the charity that provides personal development, team building throughout various activities. Not the 
this and then he's going to race, yeah? The profit generated by the outdoor centre is utilised to supplement the income for the college. Pettibull Outdoor Centre runs residential experiences and team building days for young adults with learning disability, special schools, mainstream schools, colleges for further education, teacher inset days and of course corporate businesses in the United Kingdom and Europe. Well done Rachel, well done. Good morning everyone. Good morning. Pettifull College is a further education college for young adults with learning disabilities. We're a franchise to South Cheshire College over in Crewe. We have about 90 students on roll at the present time. We're actually very proud of our success rates over the last 12 months. Our leavers who were in transition last summer, 68% of them have moved on to some form of successful employment. The national benchmark for that is actually 7%. The current curriculum we're offering at the moment to our students is City and Guild programme, Edexcel entry level, all these subjects are vocational qualifications and nationally recognised. The subjects we're offering are animal care, horticulture and floristry, conservation and recycling, hospitality and catering, retail and office, as well as life skills. Our mission here at Pettypool is to empower young people and enable them to enjoy their education to their full potential. Wherever possible, we embed enterprise into our curriculum and having realistic workplaces for our students. For example, our horticulture department has a garden centre open to the public once a week, selling plants, garden produce and flowers. Our animal care department breed animals, for example goats, rabbits and guinea pigs and take them to market to sell. Our catering hospitality department is a working kitchen in which they have a till and they produce food for the staff and the students at the college. The Moore Project was a project that we started about two years ago. It stands for Meaningful Opportunities Realistic Employment. It just ensures that the students as they leave us have the same opportunities as everyone else out in the community. It gives them a chance to um, gain paid employment or voluntary work. The setting here in the kitchen, it shows the skills that they're gaining here and they often go out then into the community. And we've had two students progress onto paid employment from this setting. For instance, some of our project partners that the students have ended up working for are Bentley Motors, Holfords, Superdrug, there's leading supermarkets like Sainsbury's, McDonald's, Marks and Spencer, Cheshire Constabulary, and that's just to name a few. The Pedipool Trust goes from strength to strength. The Moore Project in particular has had a major impact on the achievement of our students. We're extremely proud of our gold standard in investors in people and our outstanding Grade 1 in Ofsted. We look forward to a bright future. We would like to thank the High Sheriff and all the sponsors for the opportunity to showcase our charity. Yes! Well done! Fantastic! And uh, to present the awards, it's my pleasure to welcome onto the platform John Greaves, who is Bank of America's Communication Executive. So can we invite the highly commended winners to come first, please? And the winners, uh, as you've just seen, the, the management team do join us from the Pettypool Trust. Yeah, I love it.
Cylon Award tonight is the Mournflake Oats Award for Innovation. Uh, this is also a £3,000 award. The criteria used here, uh, again, were two main ones. A proven ability to create, nurture and develop new projects and services. And the ability to demonstrate achievements in invention, design, production, performance, marketing and distribution at a level that marks it out from others. And again, we had two finalists. They were Certero, an IT software vendor, and GSD, a visual communication specialist company. Highly commended goes to a company that invented and designed innovative IT solutions for the environment. The highly commended award goes to Certero. Now, they're unable to be here tonight, I think, I'm just checking that no one's here, because they're attending a trade exhibition which speaks for itself. Uh, so we'll make sure that that gets to them uh, as soon as possible. And so, by process of elimination, the winner of the 2010 Mournflake Oats Award for Innovation is GSD. So do make your way up to the stage as we watch the program. And we'd like to now uh, hand over to John Lee, who is the Chief Exec of Mournflake Oats and the incoming High Sheriff of Cheshire. So John, you're not going to get away lightly because you'll be here again doing this very same thing uh, on a grander scale even next year. So do come and join us. Can I just say what a very great pleasure it is for us as uh, Mornflake to be uh, sponsoring this award. Um, according to Google, we are the eighth oldest established business in the United Kingdom, which is still going. We're wedged somewhere between Hawes Bank and Locks the Hatters and St. James's. Now, I don't know about their businesses, but I do know that if we hadn't constantly changed and evolved over the generations, we would not be here today. It used to be said that we need to change and evolve every generation. The rate of change and the pace of change now means it's almost every, it feels like 10 years, it's probably every year. So to be sponsoring innovation, which is now so critically important, as indeed it always was, is wonderful for us. We're from Crewe, and to award it to somebody from Nantwich is even better. So well done. Thank you. Shapiro Design Limited is one of the UK's leading providers of creative visual communication. We help companies and organisations develop their branding, websites, apps, advertising and graphic design. We work with a diverse UK and international client list such as Typhoo, Samsung, Clive Christian, Stoke City Football Club, Motorola and Siemens. We provide our clients with a value for money service of the highest quality and we achieve this by combining the very latest technology with innovative solutions that work. I believe the success of GSD over the last 16 years has been based on a number of things. In particular, I've got a fantastic team of designers that are creative, innovative, want to push the boundaries, or think outside the box. But I think a key thing with clients is the close working relationship and we're delivering marketing packages during this climate that are affordable and are helping businesses to make money and succeed. GSD is also strong in the education sector, designing prospectuses, websites and online packages for educational providers in the North West as well as across the UK. GSD were the first agency to win Heist Awards for producing the website and prospectus for West Cheshire College. 
GSD has won national and international design and business awards, including recently a creme de la creme for outstanding business excellence. Creativity and innovation is at the heart of GSD. Our company mission is to be creative, innovative and give the client what they really want. I'm really excited about our latest innovative creation that's having worldwide success and interest. It's my invention, the Interlute Mailer. The Interlute Mailer is an innovative design that turns publicity material into an interesting and interactive promotional item. GSD have a UK and European patent for this invention and also a worldwide trademark. So this is the Interlute Mailer. It's a folding interactive mailer that folds back on itself. You can get two or three key messages on it and it takes you on a journey from start to finish. It's not just like a normal printed sheet. It's memorable. The feedback that we get is it's tactile. You want to look at it, you want to read it. And people are excited by it and they want to keep hold of it. Since the launch of the InSleep Mailer, um, we've had tremendous response, which is just brilliant. And we've had a range of clients from small businesses up to international clients, which is just fantastic. Hello, GSC. The Mailer has already more than proved its worth over the last 18 months for major global clients, including Philips, Motorola, T-Mobile, Rolls-Royce, NHS, and even the Australian government. I'm the initial point of contact, so the client will call me, I'll be able to discuss their brief, um, their needs and supply them with all the costings, and then once I've done that, that gets passed on to our team of designers. Our clients use the Insulate Mailer for a variety of different reasons. Uh, it can range from uh, an invite to a conference or an exclusive launch party, uh, but also it can be used to promote different products and uh, show four or five exciting key messages that are uh, to portray what the product is about that's being released. So it's quite a quirky little mailer that can really help push a product when it gets brought out. What a fantastic journey we've been on with the Interlute Mailer. From the original patent application 10 years ago and then to find out it's an invention that's unique and it's used across the world. It's very surreal by such a diverse range of clients. It's just amazing. I know that the future is really bright for GSD and the Interlute Mailer. We're in talks with Apple about a new iPad interlude mailer uh, that will be used across all products in Europe and the UK. I'd just like to say a massive thank you on behalf of my team and I for being shortlisted for such a fantastic award. Thank you.